welcome to the Adrian Duckworth Museum. We're joined by a special guest right now, one of the artists on exhibit, Rachel Gross. And she's going to tell us about her unique style and how it can fit into your lifestyle. Thank you for joining us, Rachel. Thanks for having me. This exhibit here is really a nice cross-section of your work. Could you tell us a little bit about what inspires you to create your unique pieces? Yes. Um, so I do both prints, works on paper, and shaped plywood panels. Um, and I started doing shaped panels because I was cutting out plywood shapes that I was rolling up with ink and making relief prints from them. Um, and I also do etching intaglio on zinc and copper plates. So I was combining these different media and it sort of, um, it made me work in two different directions. Um, the prints have collage and painting in them and the shape panels also have elements that are painted and elements that are collaged on. I think that's what's neat about the panels. The first time I saw them, it's in one sense, it's a very simple idea, like, why didn't I think of that? But the way you juxtapose the bright color with the natural wood grain really is eye-catching. Yeah, um, for me, there was something about the natural wood grain that relates to the paper that's left when you do a print, and you have the image area, and then you have the white of the paper. And that changes if you do an etching versus if you do a wood block, then the non-image area feels very different, and it's the same way that the natural wood grain feels different. Can you tell us about how you got your work here into the Duckworth and how you sort of fit into the grand scheme of things here? Well, it was a real um, honor to be invited by the Adrian Duckworth Art Museum. Um, I um, was invited by the director to show my work here, and it's, um, it, it's really nice to have my work in this venue and um, it's an important museum in the community. As you look at arts in the area, there really is a wonderful community in the Upper Valley that's very supportive of local artists. And there's a lot of up and coming ones. What would you say to someone who's probably just getting started? Well, I think there, um, it, it's true there are a lot of great art organizations. I had a show at the Ava Gallery, which was um, really great for the start of my career. Um, and um, also a member and on the board of the Two Rivers Printmaking Studio. And that's another great venue for showing work. Mm -hmm. um, at either of those places, you could take workshops. Um, you can go to the openings, um, submit work to be in shows there. Um, there's also, you know, there's uh, the Center for Cartoon Studies, which is a school that teaches comics. Um, there's the Main Street Museum. All of these places are great places to go see art, to be around people who are making art and teaching art. One of the things I like about your style, either in your prints or in your, you know, your your wood, your wood pieces, is they really they ha they span uses. You could see them commercially very easily worked into a business setting, or you could see them in a contemporary home or a classical home. They really have that timeless edge. What would you say to someone who maybe hasn't bought art before, but it really is a good investment? Um, well, I mean, for me, when I look at art that um, is meaningful and has resonance, it's something that I, I feel like when I look at it sort of takes me to a different place or makes me see something, the world in a different way. Um, so, I mean, I, I would say to people like you, you know, if you're looking to buy art, it's something that you'll have for a very long time and you can sort of every time you pass it and look at it really appreciate um, so you know in terms of the long-term investment I mean that's not how I approach mm -hmm. the, the work that I want in my own home but um, you know for me it's just something that that resonates with me and I think your work is a great place to start if anyone's looking to get into the art world. I want to thank Rachel for joining us. Make sure you check out Rachel Gross's artwork right here at the Adrian Duckworth and make sure you check it out on her website.